Hey, what's up guys? Chris Altamirano here from VMAverick.com and today I want to talk to you guys about ah, Damn, I love my Starbucks. Identity. Alright, so what do I really mean about identity, right? Because identity means a lot of things. It means, I mean, is it who you are? Is it what you do? Is it how many years you've worked at such and such place? What is identity really? Um, one thing that you can really define as identity is basically like say if you ever played a sport um, as an example me I've always played soccer my entire life so whenever I go to gym to work out I don't work out like a bodybuilder I don't work out like say a track player I don't work out like a volleyball player I work out like a soccer player meaning when I do my repetitions it's like usually lightweight to middleweight sometimes heavy and everything's fast and it's really explosive and I do a lot of cardio on an incline Basically what I'm getting at is that I've always identified as a soccer player my whole life, so now when I work out, it just it translates into my workouts. So what I wanna to talk to you today about is your online identity. Like, all the content that you're pushing out there, who are you really? Like, who are you? Are you, are you looking up to other blogs and you're trying to jock their style a little bit? Like, who are you? Like, what kind of stuff are you putting out there? Because I know a lot of people and stuff, like when they talk, they'll go like this. Hey guys, I'm, hey so-and-so here or hey 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 what's up everybody you know what I mean like like you see everybody trying to do that and everybody's trying to be somebody else right and so the real thing is like you need to be yourself so that people can see past that and actually connect with your marketing because if you're not then you're just like XYZ marketer or ABC video marketer like you need to be somebody other than somebody else you need to be yourself so my challenge to you today is how are you going to identify as you? How can you be the best version of you today? And um, it's funny because like somebody, something I used to do, and I'll be just be straight up with this. Let's let's uh, let's do some confessions right now. You know how they did that stuff like in Jersey Shore, how they had like that little confession room and stuff. Well, this is this is my room. It's actually in my kitchen. Um, it's not my kitchen. It's my mom's kitchen. But you know what I mean? It's like. I used to write out income reports on my blog, right? I used to do income reports, and then I realized that I was just like Pat Flynn from Smart Passive Income Blog. And Pat's dope, the dude just, he's killing it online, like he's making so much money, but it's like, that wasn't me, that wasn't who I was. I only did it because that was like a mentor to me at the time, and that's who I looked up to, so that's why I did what I did. You see the point there? So, whoever you're following, try not to bite their style. Try to get a little bit from everybody else. Like something I've really, uh, embodied, not bitten. Bitten is like some 80s slang word that gang, that uh, breakdancers used to use. But something that I've really embodied is uh, Gary Vaynerchuk. Gary Vaynerchuk, this dude just puts the flip cam, yeah, he puts the flip cam on just like I'm doing right now, and this dude just like bam, just raw video and just kills it, right? And everybody's like, oh, Gary's a man, and stuff like that. I guarantee you, if Gary Vaynerchuk still, if he didn't grow a company to 60 million dollars, Wine Library TV, I promise you that everybody would still look up to that guy because of how he speaks, the way he approaches things, and how he just gives his freaking opinion. The dude just does not care, and that's something that I've embodied more and more in my videos. Like a lot of people are like. They're doing tutorials on like, hey, video is uh, so great today and you need to make your videos like this. It's like, no, dude, get a flip cam and just boom, raw and uncut. Um, but back to the main point of everything is it's back to just identity. So um, however you're going to figure out who you really are, you need to do it right now. Um, one thing you can do, get a flip cam and just record yourself, dude. Like record yourself or gal if you're a girl watching this. Record yourself and then watch the video back to yourself. Like, look at the camera and speak to yourself and be like, "Hey, who am I? Or, you know, what do I want to put out there? How how do I want to come off as? Um, you know, actually, actually scratch that. Don't even care because when you put out like the best content you'll ever put out there is when you just really don't care anymore. Because a lot of people I feel are trying to attract certain audiences by trying to like act a certain way. You know, it's like. It's like somebody that wants to be a real estate agent. I, I used to tease my mom. Oh, dogs are barking in the background. So one thing that I used to tease my mom about a lot is she started to become someone that she was not. Now, um, a lot of marketers would call this um, learning the tribe language, meaning like if you're in stocks, you're just like, oh, ROIs, you know, like your return on investment and stuff. 
um, it's like, oh, the crash, and it's just like synthetic CDOs and stuff, you know, for all those Wall Street guys. Um, so there's a lingo to everything. However, you can't lose track of who you are. You still have to be you. You still have to have the same personality. And so for me, as like a 12 year old, I would see my mom and she would start getting business calls and she'd be like, oh, hello, Bob. Hi, yeah, this is Mireya. My mom's name is Mireya. Hi, this is Mireya. Oh, okay, fantastic, Bob. Yeah, well, it was great to see you. So anyways, Basically, the example that I'm trying to use is that my mom would kind of like she she talk the language. She'd be the she'd fit the into the tribe, you know, kind of like how like on Avatar that dude joined the AWAS or whatever. He fit into the tribe so he could belong, and that's what a lot of people try to do. They try to fit in, but when you fit in, you don't stand out. You know what I mean? So that's why you have to figure out who you are and what you bring to the table in terms of your marketing. And, and just like your personality, you know, a lot of you don't even have advertising budgets to go online and do some Facebook PPC or anything and that's totally okay. You can get way more long traffic and have a lot more longevity with, with whatever online business you're trying to grow if you just became yourself, the best version of yourself and stay true to who you were. Yes, still learn the lingo. Yes, still know what, you're, what the hell you're talking about, but be yourself. You have to identify with who you really are and become that and embody that. And that's exactly what a lot of people are gonna resonate with. And, uh, and like I said, don't try to go out there and, and pick this person up and pick this person up. Like a lot of network marketers do that. Like, hey, how's it going? Check this out. Like, I think you really love my business and stuff. Like, you'd be great for it. But it's just like, no, dude. Like. I forget who said that. I think it was like Jim Rohn or Zig Ziglar and he said, I don't... Hmm, let me ponder on this for a sec. Okay, so I figured it out. I think it was like Jim Rohn or Zig Ziglar he said, I think it was Jim Rohn. He said, I don't... He, somebody asked him, hey Jim, how did you build such a big team or how did you grow your business so much? And he's like, he's like, I don't build a... He's like, he says I'm like, I don't build a great team or, or I don't build a team. I hire great people. So he doesn't, he doesn't, he didn't, he didn't get people into a certain business or whatever, or try to pick random people up and then make them great. He already brought in great people. And so that's something that you're going to have to do. You're going to have, like naturally when you're just yourself, you're going to, those people are just naturally going to come into you and they're just going to magnetize toward you. Then you're just going to manifest like a certain following of people. Um, it, it's like, it's like Oprah, o o Oprah attracted People in the, I mean, Oprah's, you know, internationally known now, whatever, but when she first started, if you looked in her crowd, I mean, there was a lot of older people or people with already kids and stuff. It's a different demographic. Same thing with, like, say, Miley Cyrus. Miley Cyrus doesn't attract, you know, 60, 70 year old baby boomers. She attracts the new, you know, Generation Y. And so be yourself, embody who you are, and really just deliver great freaking content. All right, Chris Altamirano from viamaverick.com. Um, head over to viamaverick.com right here, right now. And uh, on the right-hand side, you'll see an opt-in box. Um, I will send you daily to weekly newsletter updates. And um, my emails are straightforward, no fluff. I cut straight through the BS. And I think you're definitely gonna get a lot of value from what it is I have to talk about. Again, I'm not a spammer, I'm not gonna scam you, etc., etc. And uh, also, if you want, just to see what I'm up to in my personal life or whatever. Not even my personal life, but I tweet just about marketing stuff all the day, all day, uh, and sometimes my girlfriend. And um, you follow me right here at Chris Alta. Okay. So again, vmaverick.com, Chris Alta. Be you. Find who, out who you really are. Identify with that and deliver that in your content. And you're definitely going to get a lot more people watching and sharing your stuff. All right. See you later, guys. Hustle, hustle, and hustle, and hustle, hustle, and hustle, and hustle, and hustle, and hustle.